hospitals now. Federal health officials want this South Pasadena woman locked down under quarantine, but she is resisting. Good evening, I'm Michelle Tuzzi. I'm Mark Brown. New at 11, Eyewitness News reporter Jory Rand spoke with a woman via Skype tonight. He is live in our newsroom to tell us why she says she is unwilling to cooperate with a quarantine. Jory. Guys, Ilsa Tejas is a 26-year-old grad student who recently got over the flu. Her younger sister was one of the confirmed cases of measles caught recently at Disneyland. So far, there have been 26 confirmed cases of measles, but Ilsa is not one of them. She has no symptoms and feels perfectly healthy. And though she plans to avoid large crowds, she says despite a possible quarantine order, she refuses to be a prisoner in her own home. Last week at this time I thought um, that I was dying. On the left is 24-year-old Maura Tejas, who still has a cough and the scars on her body from a case of the measles. But she's getting over it and is no longer contagious. Her older sister, Ilsa, right now, has no symptoms. Yeah, I feel great. But she says today she received a call from the Centers for Disease Control and her South Pasadena home was visited by the local health department, both of whom wanted her to quarantine herself inside. Saying that I need to get vaccinated and I need to be quarantined and otherwise I'm gonna like go to jail or something or I'm gonna get a misdemeanor. It's not nice when they say, you know, we're gonna, it's a misdemeanor and you know, I work with gang members, you know, so it's like, you know, it's not nice when my daughter is threatened because of this and she's not even sick. Health officials and the public do have reason to be concerned. Measles is, a, is one of the most um, highly um, communicable infections that we know of. And so any susceptible individual who is within close proximity to somebody with measles will probably get infected. Ilsa says she is taking immuno-boosting supplements and plans on speaking with a doctor tomorrow to decide whether or not she will get a measles vaccine. I'm just a little upset because if there are so many cases of people that got the shot who also developed measles, then why are they attacking the, like me specifically? I feel like I'm getting sick that it probably means that I have it, so I'm, that's when I'm gonna start to stay in. But as for now, there's no way of me knowing. So I'm gonna carry on with my life, limit my exposure to people, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be on house arrest right now. Like it's, I don't, I don't think it's necessary for me to be on house arrest. Now, this was the form that was given to the family today. It's from the Los Angeles County Department of Health Services, and it's a request for legal intervention. It mentions a home quarantine, no school or work until January 29th. That would be more than two weeks from today. We have called the L.A. County and Pasadena Departments of Health many times tonight for comment, but so far have not received any calls back. Live in the newsroom, Jory Rand, ABC7 Eyewitness News.